nothing's more important than what brings us here tonight. And I mean that. It's not just a you know, throwaway comment. Nothing is more important than this, because this is the most long-lasting of anything, of any initiative that we're now involved in. So the impact, as you've seen in your own lives, uh, is, uh, is over many, many years, and I think has a more profound impact on the relationship than arguably anything else. Um, now, I know many of you are recent, and some of you not so recent members of the program. Some of you actually have expressed surprise that we found you, but you know, once you're on the list, <laughs> once you're on the list, you're always on the list. <laughs> we know where you are. <laughs> You know, in marriages, um, have to be kept fresh, and I think about this uh, a lot. I've been married for almost 20 years, but uh, it's important because you know, transatlantic relationships is great, but uh, you know, we talk about generational change. And I, but I feel, uh, I feel strongly about this because it needs to be kept fresh and it needs to be kept relevant. And the best way to keep it relevant is to have people like you who uh, have a first-hand experience of the United States. Um, and it's very important also because we are dealing with issues now that have um, frankly strained trust. We're trying to reestablish trust, and I think you're all part of uh, what we're trying to do. You know what brings us here tonight. We're celebrating 75 years, incredible, 75 years of U.S. government exchange programs. And it's a legacy to which each one of you has contributed in your own way. You know, 1940, in the aftermath of uh, one world war and with another beginning, the United States recognized information and ideas can have a far greater impact than weapons, and hence we sought to improve international relations by bringing people of different, different countries together. Now looking across this room um, at the diversity of countries and the backgrounds and areas of expertise, you represent, you're living proof of the power of people-to-people -people exchanges. Um, and over the past 75 years, international exchange programs have proved an invaluable way for building bridges between the United States and citizens of countries around the world, introducing rising stars from every sector um, to the people, cultures, and institutions of the United States. And speaking to a number of you, I was really happy to hear that you, you didn't just go to New York or Washington. You went to real America. God forbid, I'm a New Yorker. New Yorker's not so there. Now, exchange alumni are now counted among the ranks of acclaimed world leaders, activists, civil society representatives, artists, and academics. So our embassies and consulates around the world have a pretty good track record of identifying the leaders of the future and providing them with their first exposure to the United States. The United States government is good at something, well, more than a few things actually, but at this we excel. So we at the U.S. Mission of the EU are especially proud of you, our distinguished alumni, who constitute, constitute a very unique group within the State Department's alumni network. As alumni of U.S. EU's IVLP, Volu Voluntary Visitor and Fulbright Schumann Exchange Programs, as well as those run by our colleagues in EU member states, you truly represent Europe not simply your country of origin. To many people you meet, uh, you met in the United States, you are the face of the EU. So this reception is our way of honoring you and maintaining our connection to the United States in a small way. As alumni, you play an important role in bridging the culture and knowledge gaps that remain between our policymakers, media, academics, scientists, and average citizens of the United States and the European Union. And we hope that tonight serves as a reminder of how you can continue to build ties between the United States and Europe even long after your program has ended. We at the mission continue to value your expertise and your perspectives and look for opportunities to share your views with visiting U.S. government officials uh, and experts. This year we have launched a series of intimate transatlantic roundtables bringing together visiting U.S. experts and alumni to exchange views. So far, we've held events on topics as diverse as TTIP. What else? <laughs> but not just TTIP, by the way. There are other things. Climate change, and we hope to hold similar discussions in the coming weeks on Russia and other foreign policy topics. And we hope that these events will reinforce your connection to the United States and update you on U.S. views on issues key to the transatlantic relationship. 
Over the course of my term as ambassador of the U.S. mission to the European Union, I've met with uh, many alumni and heard how their experiences in the United States, whether for three weeks or for three years, influences their outlooks, their careers, their lives. No doubt each of you has experienced this in your own way. We hope that you will share your experiences among peers in Brussels throughout your careers as well as more specifically with us tonight as we join our colleagues around the world celebrating 75 years of exchanges. As you may be already aware, our social media team, I've learned the importance of social media ever since I arrived here 18 months ago, are collecting your stories tonight and sharing them through the hashtag ExchangesR. So please be sure to share your experiences directly on Twitter with the ha that hashtag or seek out our staff to participate in this global celebration. So I wanted to conclude by reminding you that every day international visitors like yourselves travel across the United States, exchange views with American interlocutors, and nearly a million exchange participants from around the world have taken home the perspectives and skills they gained and shared with these with their family and their friends. And not a day goes by without bridges between our nations being built and reinforced through these programs, moving not only people but also ideas. You're part of that network and you are part of the future of exchanges and you are an integral part of the transatlantic relationship. So, thank you, most importantly, for being here tonight. Hello, hello, Alexander. <laughs> Another friend, a lot of friends I see in the audience. Thank you for being here tonight. It's very important, I mean it when I say this is really the most important thing we do. I look forward to a continued commitment, a growing commitment to this program over the next years. Thanks.